So you might have seen one leaving the voting booth today. Maybe you got a phone call from an exit poller. For decades, exit polls have been a key part of election night coverage and meant to provide a preview of the results before official tallies come in. But like most everything else this year, it's the election is not going to be the same for poll workers. WCPO reporter Pat LaFleur spoke with an expert to find out what to expect. Sure, ma'am, would you come over here and talk to me for a moment and let me know how you voted? They're meant to tell us what to expect in a race before we can know for sure. But NKU political science professor Ryan Salzman tells me even in a normal election year, exit polls can only tell us so much. Exit polls are in a rigorous way. That is a way that attempts to get as close to the actual result as possible, so I don't want to demean the polling process, but you have to opt in. In other words, exit polls only survey people who are willing to be surveyed, and generally they focus on people who voted on Election Day. In Ohio, that could leave out 3.4 million voters who cast their ballots early or by mail. Hamilton County Board of Elections Director Sherry Poland said they've never seen early voting numbers like this year. We had a high volume, record number of early in-person voting as well as absentee by mail. Salzman said those record early voting numbers could slant exit poll findings on election night. We've seen that the self-reported rates of early and mail-in voting is much higher among Democrats than it is among Republicans. And so when we turn that on its head, we say the day of voting is going to be much higher for Republicans than Democrats. Salzman said that's due to differing responses to the pandemic along party lines. Democrats tend to be um, a bit more risk when it comes to COVID or a lot more risk averse when it comes to COVID. Whether you follow the exit polls tonight or not, Salzman had one piece of advice above all else. I would preach patience. It may take a day or two or three to get the official results. And that's what we're looking for is not projections, but official results. Pat LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.